I think the only thing that's not included on the mobile app is the three-way audio call, uh, calling for conferencing, but there is an option for the audio bridge, okay? In fact, let's go over that really quickly. What's our second conference option? Because some people may ask, what if I want more than three people on a conference call? Well, at the very bottom of the app, you'll see a start conference button. If I click on it, it'll show you your personal conference bridge. Every single one of you on this account, every single one of you with an extension, has your own personal 1,000 seat conference bridge. This is your dial-in number, this is your host access code, your participation access code for your participants. And if I press invite with email, it'll grab all this information and throw it into an email template, nice and neat, okay? This button that says include additional dial-in numbers has to do with international. It's normally turned off, but I've turned it on. And what will happen when I press the invite with email, it will actually ask me, where else would I like to have my conference call, right? So you have customers all over the world. Um, we are now an international global company, so we own numbers all over the world. So let's say we want to invite someone from the UK, United, uh, the United Kingdom, Turkey, Sweden, Slovenia, and Peru, okay? So these customers don't need to pay long distance to call the US conference bridge number. They can actually call a number that's local to their country, okay? These are not toll-free numbers. They're local numbers. So um, they're still going to pay, but they're going to pay what equates to a local call compared to a long distance call and save them a lot of money. Okay, so you can press the check mark, and again, it'll grab all these phone numbers, it'll grab the participation access code, throw into a nice email, nice and tidy, give you all the information you need for them, and you can send it on its way. Okay.